So, as you can see, I've been grinding like crazy. 50 hours. And let's also change some settings back. So I was, again, just grinding in the background as I was watching other people do stuff. Grinded pretty much everybody's 99 except for Yuffie Vincent and uh, Kate's it. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even um, worry about grinding Kate's it. Actually, hold on. Something else I was doing. I took the time to train up a golden chocobo. So I'll link in the description exactly uh, how you would get a gold chocobo. Granted, I'll probably just link the uh, guide I used. Giddy up! Alright, so there are a lot of things we can go get with the gold chocobo. Uh, I need to remember where they are. Honestly, I should probably have pulled up a uh, guide, but I think, yep, one's right here, and they're like, why can't I just uh, get here normally? Well, unfortunately, there's no place you can land with the airship. Airship can only land on grass, but as you can see, this little nook here. Bestest uh, summons. Over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into material. I received Quadra energy. So, this is actually not the one I was thinking about. Um, so, this looks like I'm able to cast four times? Is that what it is? Her magic used four times. Yep. So, I would probably pair that with Ultima, which I have mastered a uh, bun <laughs> but um, I honestly don't even need that many uh, Ultimas, but yeah, it's, I've done so much training. Um, I'll probably do one more session before I start weapon hunting, because what I want to do, yeah, I need to find out where it is. There's one more. It's supposed to be another cave. That requires a chocobo to get to it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna roam around until I find it. You know, it's not too much of chocobo writing in this game. Because uh, you do it in the beginning when you. And even then, that's kind of optional. Because I believe there's a strategy in which you can bypass the chocobo uh, writing segment. Because over in, um, I don't know what the place is called, it must be like the marsh, the marsh area where there's a big old uh, snake prowling. Apparently this is one of the places you would train before going to uh, the final area. But um, yeah, I'm kind of just roaming around until I find what I'm looking for. I could have sworn the other cave should have been hit, but I am at mistaken. Of course, let's go to one of the weapons I'm about to fight later on, so I'm gonna leave him be for now. Fun. 
large material needs high level material. Pretty much there's a lot of racing is involved, chocobo races. And now that I have done it, I actually realize that chocobo racing is the best way to farm uh, GP at uh, the Golden Saucer. Uh, of course, in Golden Saucer, you get a GP, which is kind of like tokens that's specific to the Golden Saucer. And yeah, you cannot use it anywhere else. However, you need it so you can buy items. Oh, that's so scary. Buy items uh, at the gold saucer. to give up and just look on the internet because <laughs> I don't want to waste too much time looking for what I'm about to look for. Oh yeah, this is where uh, you snowboard. That's like the worst minigame. <laughs> mainly because like the controls are so weird. summon in this game. Aside from Sephiroth's uh, supernova. Of course that's not a summon, but it may as well have been. It's like the longest cutscene of life. <laughs> or uh, pretty much call it his limit break if anything. It's pretty called a giant comet or meteor to pretty much destroy actually doesn't kill us. I believe it does proportional damage to our HP. So it's just like a poor show and put us in critical type of thing. Of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. Receive of oh, HP and MP. Okay, never mind. That is also not what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Exchange HP and MP levels, which does make sense. Wow, we really have that. I guess it would be good for. Oh, it would be good for uh, like limit breaking. I guess you would be like a super mage. So, uh, yeah, you would get the quad magic and just cast Ultima until whatever it is dies. Because. Well, that little <laughs> thing in there looks a little interesting. But, um. I don't know how many caves there are. I think there's four. Might be mistaken. So I've been to two of them so far. Um, 
wonder if it's going to be one of each type of materia, besides magic. Because there was a, uh, uh, what was it? I'm not quite sure what the blue materia is considered as. Because I know the purple ones are the pink ones. Magenta, I guess. Uh, they're considered, uh, It's also a passive, I believe. Independent and passive. Um, oh, there's triple tracks right here. Insects and frogs by pushing okay. Insects and frogs react differently depending on where you release them. So try many different places. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> having both enemy ways is enough to kind of prevent the enemies from being countered. I think that's totally because they're only level 1, but I do get this way into Get uh, Vincent to have uh, a sniper. Yes. 
sniper CR, whatever it's called. Has pretty much 100% accuracy on the right side. Yep. Let's give him a mega all. So you can shoot everybody at once. Plus. Ooh, lots of speed. 90%. I want to throw a stack, actually. I feel like the frog doesn't do anything. So the frog makes you like jump higher. I think. Let me just grab this and get on top. Maybe it'll bust open and fling me over there. I'm not sure. Right, didn't say show me what you got. Yeah, I need the uh, champion belt. Let's do a lot more damage than what I'm doing. <laughs> so weak. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, because he's used to 
using a weak weapon, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, what? gonna put me on that branch up, uh, that's kind of like coming towards us. Nope, just gonna throw us across. One way ticket. Let's see here, I think I need two bugs. I do not like the sound of that. I'm wearing a rune armlet though. I don't really wanna. Well, I guess I could switch that off to somebody else, but. Uh, yeah, I'm actually somewhat training right now, so I don't really need to put on the best armor right now. So. Alright. Let's grab you. Let's put you in here. I'm not sure what to expect, so. I'm not sure how I feel about the pink and the vine. Also, maybe kill the vine. Yeah. 
there. Dang it. <laughs>
question is, how do I get that one down there? So pretty much I need a uh, spiky thing above so I can uh, At least I know the uh enemy way thing is working. confused.
very tempted to look up. What to do next? I can't go this way, even though there's clearly an exit. Right there. I forgot what this force is called, actually. I do know there's a uh, very good weapon here for Cloud. Apparently I can get the first one. Frog up here. Well, oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> Insect and place it in the blue flower just to the left of the red flower that you threw the beehive into. Grab another insect. Oh. So apparently, there's a. Frog out of nowhere. Solves everything. I didn't know there was a frog in there. <clears throat> so that was what I was missing. This obviously will let me jump across. Apocalypse is the only other game or gun, weapon that allows for trip. Of course, it's not as strong, and you don't get as much. Uh,
freaks me out. So again, I missed this item over here. I don't think I've ever used Typhon actually now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, that place actually opens up if you fight um, Ultimate Weapon, which I have not yet. It's still chilling and it's a little like. Uh, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but. Let me chill right here. No. This is uh, also Vincent's little side quest to get his final. Uh, break. I've already grabbed it, so I don't have to worry about that. So I've been to four locations so far, but there's supposed to be one specific one. And it might just actually be in southwest kind of waterlogged area, meaning the sea. And I just gotta find it. So I'm just gonna run out to the water here. I think it's just a random, like, island This one's actually Cactar Island, which is not the one I want. You can tell it, uh, it has a little landing pad. You can actually farm AP there, fighting um, Cactar, which I'm not too worried about right now. Island should be. Could potentially be off the cost of off the cost off the coast of Utai. Up in the bottom or the top left area of the map. And again if I uh, don't find it in the next however many minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and search it. I still have like probably 30 minutes worth of riding left to do. Go ahead and tackle the different weapons. And honestly, Ultima is the easiest, Emeralds next easiest. And then there's Go Ruby. Ruby's the one that I have not been. So apparently you have to beat a certain way, otherwise it's impossible to beat. Um, chiefly you have to let two of your party members die. Pretty much just wipes your party every time. It's really annoying. Um, so it is better off having two of your characters die. And then you can pretty much just play defensively, 
while casting Knights of the Round, which is again this final material I'm trying to look for. Yeah, I was hoping it was one of the other islands that I've already uh, approached. But that's not the case. Maybe it's like north of the North Cave. Actually, it would make sense. Is nice of the round is the most powerful summon is obtained from Round Island, hidden island in the northeast of the map. Okay, that's all I need to know. I think eventually I would have went this way because I was about to go west, which eventually wraps around, but you know, it just takes too long. Honestly, though, I wonder if it is this uh, island that's on the map. That you can see top right. No. Besides the landing spot. So. This means. It's another hidden island up here somewhere. There it is. Look at that. It's like a volcano. Many years, many or Mako energy crystallizes into material. Received knights of the round materia. Gold Chocobo can take us. Uh, gold Chocobo. I believe it tells us like the places we can go with the cho Gold Chocobo. Oh, yep, it tells us right here. Oh, mine. Let me find all this. I don't think it tells us where it is, but we'll go find it. Wow, crazy enough, Emerald actually has more HP than Ruby. Okay, my material is located to the east side of Wutai. I knew it. So I did uh, pass by it, but I did not. Whoop. I did not go to that uh, particular cave. Yeah, so there is one for each type of material. Summon, command, independent, and yeah, I don't know what the blue one. Considered as, but that is the last one we need to, or that's quad magic that we have already. It's the east side of the tide. It's right here. Of the Wutai continent, which is the westernmost continent. 
Nothing is found in area of the continent that can only be reached by crossing the mountains, which is green, black, and gold. This side of the continent. It's like down here. This side of the continent. So I probably would just run right here. Oh, see it? I see it. So here's the last materia. Unless there's supposed to be a uh, green one. Of course, over the course of many years, Mako energy will crystallize into materia. Proceed to mine materia. So I heard the best thing to do is put mine with knights of the round. And yeah, you just keep casting bows. So I think I've gotten everything I can with the uh, gold triple bow. So I'm gonna find my way back to the airship. Take me to the northern crater real quick. Grind out the last like what 13 levels or so of uh, these party members, and also kind of try to master some of this material. Honestly, that master material achievement is just way too like involved. I already missed it because I uh, didn't learn some of the enemy skills. And it's sad that you can't, like, get it. <laughs> and yeah, look at forums, people are like, yeah, if you missed these, then you are boned. So that's that. So yeah, I'm going to just skip that achievement. So, only two achievements I need to get are. Oh yeah, that snake can actually bite us. Chocobo home. Let's go ahead and save that progress. And I'm actually going to use the restroom actually. I'm gonna drink too much tea. Right, be right back. Should not take me that long. Honestly, I want to level up nice and round, probably like maybe max it out because I believe once you max out the summon material, you get to summon as much as you like. Because otherwise, you can only summon as many levels as you have gained. Of course, I just got nice and round, so I cannot uh, summon more than once. So let's go ahead and get that gown in here. Remember the first time I came here, uh, I accidentally went all the way to Zephyroth. <laughs> I didn't even save either, I didn't even plop down. So this gives me the save crystal. So we just ended up fighting them. And uh, yeah, beating it. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a post-game grind. To uh, and defeat all the weapons. And yeah, I didn't uh, record myself getting the gold choker though. So I felt that was very tedious. A lot of 
You gotta capture some chocobos and then you gotta breed them. Then you gotta race them. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, slow going. Oh, I forgot to get um, this is, uh, a. To give Vincent his. Uh, champion belt, but it's okay. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, Carmi doesn't want to look up the strategy to beat Ruby, other than going off my memory from what I remember. And, uh, yeah. All I know is you're supposed to have two of your characters killed, probably drink a bunch of your hero drinks, and then spam mess around until that. That's uh, the main strategy. I might be wrong, but that's probably what I'm gonna do. I wonder as well if I put in the HP to MP, uh, is what I should do as well. Lots of things I don't know because again, I have never fought a weapon in one. <laughs> I think at the time too, I didn't like super grind like I'm doing right now. Unfortunately, there's no fast way of leaving either to get to uh, run through all this, but once I master these uh, enemy away material, I believe I can just skip all encounters, which makes running out of the dungeon a lot better. But having two of the enemy away already is uh, very useful. Alright, so I'm already very close to where the training area is. Kinda sucks that it's way into uh, this place, but... The game's designed, so... Screwed over when I want to, uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, yeah. mastering all the materia. Yeah, I put on the enemy lures once I uh, get into the fighting area. <laughs> My voice uh, cracked there. <laughs> yeah, it was a long time I grind in this room. Again, I got Barrett, Tifa, Sid, somebody else. Red 13. They are all level 99. And of course, Cloud. I'm 
surprised she's actually doing that much damage. How much strength does she have? I wonder if it's because it's a throwing item. Yeah, because even Cloud, well, Cloud's on 99, but... Yeah, she does a lot of damage, actually. I'm not quite sure the formula of how the damage is calculated for most of these characters. Let's go ahead and put it on the enemy. Really quick. <laughs> yeah, right when I uh, leave the menu, as the lure uh, kicks right. Is that a W item? Yes, I do. Apocalypse does have the best uh, growth rate out of all. Well, it's triple, but the thing is, it has three, uh, three slots as opposed to um, Sid. Sid only has two, but they're also linked. I think I'd rather have the three. If anything, you know, it's the most awesome there is in the uh, double and the triple. Should not take that long whatsoever. I think I'm gonna leave once uh, the knights of the round gets mastered. Plus, that could take a while, I don't know. I should really get the Zerk off of it. That's okay. As long as uh, he's not taking damage from the sound day. Because usually uh, it counterattacks with what, everyone's grudge, is that what it's called? Pretty much, uh, it tallies up how many enemies you've killed, and then does like a certain amount of damage. I have some kill. I also want to make enough alls actually so I can uh, be done with the money portion as well. I'm fighting the worst mobs. <laughs> Go back to the cat jar, please. I go back to the cat jar. 
our uh, island just to grind AP for the sake of forever. Yeah, unfortunately the EXP and gill ups do not stack with each other. Would be nice, but... I'll keep the XP plus though. Oh, these magic plus ones too. Max out as well. I see that there's no, like, attack plus or something like that. Or strength plus. That would be too weird, actually, to be honest. So I think they do that because, uh... You can make it so you only, say, equip Ultima or just round, nice of the round. And then instead of uh, equipping a bunch of more magic uh, material, you just... Oops. You can just, uh... Equip the magic up. So you don't lose HP and stuff. Damage. 40k every time. All day, every day. What if the conformer like um, neglects defense or something? I don't know why it does so much damage. I need to uh, max out, max out my uh, monies here. Yeah, I probably break this up into two parts, so it's not just showing a lot of me grinding. This grind is nice and all, but get into the action. There's also uh, a reason why I don't show myself right here for like eight hours. <laughs> I can only imagine how long it will take to uh, master all the materia. So again, I just got some new ones. Mastering all materia gives 1.4 million a gill. And they are fairly easy to uh, max out. I honestly should have bought more uh, all materia. I feel like I should really do the golden uh, chocobo quest before even come out here and grinding. I believe. Getting the golden chocolate really opens up uh, everything else, I'd say. Because you can uh, buy the XP plus and Gil plus material from uh, Golden Saucer. So you really don't want to come and grind before you do that. You don't want to sit here grinding way more than you need to. Yeah, I think I'm going to try. Once they max out to level 99, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Cacti Island. Maybe that one's better. So I believe you get 240 AP, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Either, but I at least want to get there, I'll know for sure. Not in my house. Gonna give that back. Yeah, 
forgot that happens actually. Oh, that's bad. So we are good. I don't know if I have everyone's uh I don't know if I have everyone's uh what's your weapon? experience people need to pretty much max out whatever. It's actually scaled by how well the game you actually beat them. Because uh, these two characters you get pretty late. So you can well technically comes before this. But the thing is um, Cloud, Barrett and Tifa all require more experience than everyone else. I think maybe Red 13 as well. I think Red 13 and Red 13 is on the same like, XP level as um, Tifa Barrett. Technically Eris as well, but on the top of her. Um, but yeah, these other characters like Sid, Yuki, uh, probably K2, and uh, Vincent. They all require less. I think Yuffie is probably one of the strongest uh, members here. Because her attack is long range by default. She's doing all nines by default. <laughs> and so, yeah, I think uh, she's one of the best. I wish there was a way to like manipulate it so you always face movers. I'm sure there's like a mod or cheat you can like activate, but oh well. Max Ray! That's a uh, Barracks. I think it's legendary. That's okay, a Yuffie. Save us from thieving, thieving fools. Yeah, that's uh, that's what happens when um, I'm doing the way I'm doing it with uh, Vincent being berserk. Good to go hit and then you know kill things. But... I should say. Technically, Phoenix has. 
Somebody does that uh, wind damage. I also noticed that we don't have uh, wind materia. Oh. There's a new wind that's like triple triad. remember the uh, emerald fight. I know it's underwater. I don't know. I don't know exactly. Disintegration? I think it actually looks like the same type on it. And then I don't arrange them, and so there's like holes in the material, so when things are born, they get shoved in there. That's what happened. But yeah, I pretty much need like. So I have about what? 55 million? 56 million? Gil? I can also sell other material that I've mastered as well. 
that actually give money. Or like that much money. It sucks that, uh, that this four times strike doesn't uh, hit most sides. I'm also curious about this flash. it needs. that if you leave them with like one left, it will uh, multiply again. I don't know if I got time for that, so I'm just gonna move on. Woo! Uh, 180. Of course, it doesn't give me a mill, but get any amount of money I'll take. Did not die right there, I would have been broken. Let's get my amulet back. I wonder if, uh, well, never mind, because, uh, Vincent has Slash all, I believe. No, he has, uh, Mega All. But yeah, I don't think he can do, like, 4x cut while having, uh, Mega All on, or Slash All, unfortunately. It would be cool, though. We could, uh, Berserk, and then, uh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Shoot. 
Dame. Heaven's Cloud. I'll give that back to you. It's okay though. I'm pretty sure Yuffie will be able to kill him. Plus, he's already uh, queuing up another attack. Happy? That's the only downside to this. At least we got Heaven's Cloud back. I wonder why it always takes like a legendary item. How does that feel like it's legendary? I keep thinking the slash all would mix with the 4x. That's a, that'd be pretty awesome. AoE is for uh, four shits. Man, so much. To max it out. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever get the material or master material for uh, the achievement. But you need a playthrough, so I don't think I have enough patience to. <laughs> well, this is a faster way of getting AP, but I don't know if it works. So I think you could, uh... It's actually a rigged controller. Or I guess your keys on a keyboard so that, uh, you're in one of the areas and you just continuously, like, auto-attack to get like, kills. And then you just walk away from the area and get your, uh that way, but the only issue is that you have to change your uh, materia out. I guess you would like check in every like hour or so. Yeah, otherwise. Yeah, otherwise. Just, uh, but at the same time, if you just leave it on. I'm a Ragnarok. Get the other guy. That was very scary. Maybe they try to take my crap. I guess the only, that's the only problem with uh, not using your legendary weapon. At least I think it's a legendary weapon. I think. Well, I think you get the ultimate weapon from the ultimate weapon. <laughs> so I gotta go beat him. And that'd be the best I feel like there's somewhere else that I. Or like. Well, I'm not sure if you actually get your. Levels. Not back, but like. There's multiple items of the same sort. I'm not 100% sure. I feel like there's only one of each, like, no weapon. They sound like critical hits, but I feel like I've seen it actually critical in Dual Nines. So it's actually like a. They're just using the critical hit sound, but it's not actually. Critical. Oh, Alright, I guess it should be able to take 
care of the rest. I guess technically since I'll be out in the field, I might as well keep training. We're going to have to uh, uh, Kate soon, but I'll also be left back now. The kind of thing with Materia is it kind of makes everyone almost the same character, more or less. The only difference is people who can... Uh, do ranged attacks and then of course it wasn't great. Yeah, that's pretty much what uh, changes what people are. The limit breaks and then their basic weapon. I want to slash all and actually slash both of them. So the times four, if it dies, you will automatically shoot both sides. So it does hit on both sides. As long as one dies, of course. So that's pretty nice. I'm farming pretty much four at a time. So. One of them is not the same experience as the other ones. I also have like UPD or something like that. Yeah, that's what I think I should be okay with that. They're both dead. I feel like I have to uh, do a little bit extra grinding in here, only because I'm trying to get as many alls as I can. And again, I wonder if it's just faster outside to grind, just because you're more likely to. Well, <laughs> again, I keep like rethinking it because the thing is, if we just get one pot, it's already better than a cactar. For sure. Uh, even the other enemies, they die pretty quick. Uh, you can see a quick auto attack and they die and they melt. What if I can kill all of them? Is that way? Nope. <laughs> I guess probably because I'm using my pockets. I think that is much of a damage uh, output as the Ragnarok, of course. 
Granted, if I put on the championship belt, then that might be the next story. I'm not doing that. There's like a better way of uh, setting up materials so that you get more of the good counters. Even the movers, they, uh, they give 2400 AP, and even when you triple that, it's only about 10,200. That's still pretty slow. I would have to, like, find movers only. I'd feel a lot better if the master materia was not to master the materia, but to just get them, like acquire them. That's a more feasible challenge in my mind. I don't know why I just like looking at the uh, XP bar fill up. The AP is almost done. I guess if I can just get one more level of uh, nicer round, that should be good. No. Oh. I think I just mine. I can pretty much only do 10,000 quote unquote per next nice round. So I think it's, well, per hit of the next nice round. Next nice round does like 12. 12, uh, potentially max damage uh, strikes. Yeah, 
so if Ruby Weapon has 80 or 800,000 HP, I mean, uh, how many nice rounds is that? I'm done with chocolate breeding, she can take as many nuts as well. I'm pretty sure there's a way to like speed up the game. Using like a mod or something. I should really look into mods. Though I wonder if uh, I was, it'll still allow me to uh, get achievements even if I use a mod. Alright, these guys are almost done. How much more in my, uh... That's around 56,000. Alright. Because if I leave it at level 2, I can only use it, what, 2 times? Then mime it, so that's 4 times total. And then I guess I'll just use X cut. I'm not really sure, like, exactly how bad it is, actually. Chilling there, like, yo. <laughs> so I just, I was sitting there continuously throwing a little bit, and nothing happened. <laughs> That's pretty silly. But then I started talking about it. I think at that time, too, I didn't even have. No, I didn't. I had double wave. Or double wave. I had to get it, uh. I just need to make as many alls as possible so I get a sunny time and stay in here. Stay in this area so I get one more uh, level up nice of the round.
I'm back straight again. Keep trying to steal it. that out so that it doesn't happen. strat in which you would try to duplicate both um, I keep forgetting to get up but um yeah it's like a glitch in which you have to like drop a set of those but you have to make it so the guy steals your power source in your inventory then Upon killing him, he gives it back to you, but you're doing the W item uh, glitch at the same time. And so for some reason the game kind of like bugs out and thinks you're selecting ooh, slash all. That means I get flash. Um, but uh, he thinks you're doing the um, W glitch on power source, or whatever source I guess you have set up on, um, usually the power. I think I've seen it be done on the speed source as well, for obvious reasons. You want to act before uh, the enemy acts, because otherwise uh, you will uh, eat it, right? So, um, actually, how much is, how much is the nice uh, round now? 18,000, not too bad. And Typhon's gonna get another level before. <laughs> nice that round. Well, that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, I just flash does. I wonder if it does uh, pretty much what Odin does. So, auto kill. If uh, it does it correctly. Gives him that death. That's really good. I'm assuming the pots are immune to death. That's what, uh. That's the only way the elixir thing could work. It has to be uh, immune to everything else. I feel like that Vincent shots a lot faster than that. 
attacks. It's just like throw over thing that you just like, shoot. Oh, yes, he's on and he has speed boost. I also need to go back to uh, Alpha Family and see what all these uh, huge materia give out. Yeah, then I realized we found out that Hojo is actually Sephiroth's mom. Er, dad. <laughs> because Lucretia was Sephiroth's mom. And at first I thought it was the uh, uh, one doctor. That uh, kind of took the fishy away from Vincent. Which is super sad. At first he was a turd, but then he like got in love with you know, that doctor. But yeah, she uh, gave herself up to the doctor for science instead of to be with uh, Vincent here. Which is sad. But not enough to kill. I guess that's the only thing. Uh, I feel like the conformer kind of disregards armor or defense. The slash all is born. Oh, did it? I did, I did get another level. Nice. Just like that, I need another hundred <laughs> k. Uh, if I wanted to uh, keep going with that, but we'll go ahead and leave here. See what's coming next. We're gonna go fight some weapons. So honestly, I can use pretty much any team I want to uh, be the, the first two weapons, uh, Ultima and Emerald. You know, Ruby weapon is the one I've never beaten before in my life, and for good reason. It's a pain to beat, and it, re it requires a very specific setup, which I never uh, decided to do. But I feel like he will get pretty easy to beat once I uh, set up correctly. Uh, you're supposed to have two of your party members dead. And then... I'm assuming you want Ribbon on. I think you always want Ribbon on. Uh, you can probably cast, like, Wall, Haste. And, uh... I think at that point you just... Let them have it. Just, uh, keep doing... Um... Oh, actually, you also want to, uh... Drink a bunch of hero drinks, I believe. Just to make sure your uh, life and whatnot is superb. Um, I don't know if there's a race in this game. I'm actually surprised I encounter something. But I wonder how much it actually stacks the uh, encounter compared to the other way. But yeah, this is the only bad part about coming in here is that you have to run out. Kind of takes forever. Yeah. Without further ado, I can finally go find me some weapon. I probably put this as a separate segment, just like extra chocobo grinding. Well, not even chocobo grinding, because I did that off stream. But. Um, Final preparations. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Right. 
cargo I got his chills there. If I could switch the whole party out, I would have. But you always have to have Cloud in your party. I guess I should ask myself, who do I really want to keep with me? And I'm feeling like Yuffie is pretty strong. I guess she has like ranged attacks. Her like ranged attacks like never get scaled or something. I think Barrett still wants a championship up. Let me go check. I'm just gonna grab all different characters just to see what they got. Oh, wait. No, oh, never mind. That's in, the, or that's in the battle arena. At, uh, gonna be Yuffie. Maybe Yuffie and Tifa, actually. I'll see why not. No, I wonder if Kate still gets experience even though he's in here. I assume the battle trumpet is the best, even though it has less accuracy. Okay, I can also switch this back to the Dragon Rock. So I think I get the ultimate weapon now, uh, pretty soon. The God Hand is the best. There should be one more, uh. She should have one more, uh. <laughs> What's his name? One more, uh... Item? Uh... Gauntlet? It's supposed to be... I can't remember what it's called. Alright, let me go into the memory before I start this weapon stuff. 